This time on Quick Chinese Idioms, we will learn about two idioms that talk about punishing one to warn the others. The first idiom is 杀鸡儆猴. Long time ago, there was a monkey trainer who bought a monkey. The monkey was very disobedient. No matter how hard the trainer sounded the gong, the monkey just sat there and ignored him. So the trainer bought a chicken, and he put the chicken in front of the monkey. Next, the trainer sounded the gong again. However, the chicken did not respond to the gong. So the trainer grabbed a knife and he beheaded the chicken in front of the monkey. This action frightened the monkey so much that when the trainer sounded the gong again, the monkey obeyed every single order from the trainer. So that was the story of 杀鸡儆猴. Although when people say it, it is more often to say 杀鸡给猴看 instead. Another idiom that is very similar to this one is 杀一儆百. This idiom originated from the Han Dynasty record. A man named Ying Wengui was a prefect of the Donghai Prefecture. He governed the area by punishing criminals harshly with the law. No matter the social status, people got the same punishment if they broke the same law. There was a rich and powerful man named Xu Zhongsun, who had committed several major crimes. He thought his money and power would get him away from any punishment. However, when Ying Wengui heard about this, he first sent people to investigate the crimes that Xu Zhongsun had committed. After he got the evidence he needed, he gave him the death penalty. The news of Xu Zhongsun's death quickly spread, causing other criminals to flee or give up on crime. In the end, Donghai Prefecture's crime rate dropped significantly as a result. And the Han Dynasty record recorded this as 杀一儆百. So those were the stories for 杀鸡儆猴 and 杀一儆百. Both idioms are used to describe punishing one to warn the others. To use this idiom, when you see a situation that fit, simply say, 这是杀鸡给猴看, or 这是杀一儆百, to point it out. And the pronunciation is 杀鸡儆猴, 杀鸡儆猴. And for more common use, 杀鸡给猴看, 杀鸡给猴看. And the last one, 杀一儆百. 杀一儆百. If you like the content of this video, you can hit the subscribe or the like button for more quick Chinese idioms in the future.